Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. These are the stories trending at the moment. The Lagos High Court sitting at the Tafabalewa Square has dismissed a no-case submission filed by the suspended assistant superintendent of police, ASP Drambi Vandi, who allegedly killed the Lagos-based lawyer, Omobolan Ibrahim, on December 25, 2022. Justice Ibironke Harrison on Monday ordered the defendant to open his defense for a prima facie made against him. In his application on the no-case submission, Vandi had asked the court to dismiss the suit and discharge him, claiming that he has no case to answer. Following a breakdown of law and order which has led to the killing of two citizens, the Kaduna State Government has imposed a 24-hour curfew on the Chinkun local government area with immediate effect. According to the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs in the state, Samuel Arowan, the decision was reached after an incident of urban gang violence, adding that security agencies have been directed to enforce the curfew in the said location to restore order as investigations proceed. Controversial singer Habibo Kikiola, popularly known as Portable, has been granted bail by a high court in E4 Ogun State. According to reports, Portable was granted bail in the sum of 300,000 naira and two shorties with landed properties within the court vicinity. Portable landed in police custody on Friday, March 31, 2023, after his engagement with police officers at his bar, during which one of them was allegedly injured. The first public relations officer, Olumuiwa Adejobi, had said Portable would face six, more than six charges in court. The case has been adjourned till April 26 for the commencement of trial. Japan will ease its border control measures for travelers from mainland China from Wednesday amid a decline in novel coronavirus cases. Visitors from mainland China are currently required to present proof of a negative coronavirus test taking 72 hours or less before departure. In business, the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, has been awarded the best contributing employer in human resources development for the 2022 service year by the Industrial Training Fund, ITF. The chief executive officer of the NDIC, Belo Hassan, who was represented by the executive director, appreciated the management of ITF for recognizing the corporation's contribution and promised the contributions Corporations continuous collaboration with the ITF towards enhancing capacity building for its workforce. Malaysia's lower house has approved legal reforms to abolish the mandatory death penalty for some offences. This, this also includes murder and drug trafficking, while 11 of them carry it as a mandatory punishment. The amendments would be applicable to 34 offences currently punishable by death. In sports, Novak Djokovic has returned to number one spot in the ATP rankings despite missing U.S. tournaments last month because of his lack of a COVID vaccination. Carlos Alcaraz had taken the top ranking from Djokovic after victory in Indian Wells, but the Spaniard bowed out of the semifinals of the Miami Open on Friday to allow Djokovic back for a record 380th week as number one. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Let me thanks for watching. I'm Simi Sola. I'll do one bye for now.